let us come back and start with your secondary cells that is those are called, those are also called as rechargeable batteries rechargeable cells so here the lifetime is long and the react reactions are reversible in nature so all the three factors so once again they are rechargeable point number one second reactions are reversible point number two third point is they can be used the lifespan of the secondary battery is long enough so i've written the examples where they're used so basically whenever secondary batteries are given to you either they may directly ask you to write the cell reaction or they may ask you what are the roles of any or the plates or grids or something let us see so whenever we speak about secondary cells as i said whenever you're writing about primary batteries or secondary batteries anode is important next would be your cathode next would be your electrolyte <laughs> right next would be the anodic half cell reaction cathodic half cell reaction overall reaction and voltage also now let's come back and see so in secondary cells when i have to speak basically how does it look now suppose if this is a duster you have anodic plate like this then you have in between now again you have cathodic plate in between the anodic plate and the cathodic plate you have thin plates or anodic electrode and cathodic electrode you have thin plates those are called as grids right as a base they can be six plates or it can be 12 plate battery right and higher than that so anode grid as well as cathode all the three alternatively it will be there now let us see what is the anodic part in this in secondary cells the anode which we are going to take is spongy lead right so when i have to <coughs> speak about the cathode i am going to take in this okay uh, it is uh, this is a mixture of pbo2 lead dioxide done right now here you also have one more uh, content pbo2 along with pb we will we'll write this why right? because this is basically not participating in the reaction but it is only for the electric contact so i'm writing that also it is for electrical contact now i said the anode and the cathode are separated by plates or grids so i said that plate or grid right and what is that grid or plate made up of it is either uh, it's made up of lead or it is alloy of mixture of lead and antimony right and these plates are dipped from down below they are dipped in 40 percent sulfuric acid they're dipped in sulfuric acid which acts as conductors i mean it's going to conduct current that is approximately 40 percent okay done now now what happens <coughs> yes after i take all these one anode electrode uh, cathode uh, anode grid cathode anode grid cathode in that anode grid cathode in that way it is repeated now what happens in this particular thing let us first write how to write the cell reaction then come back to anodic reaction this will be very useful first i said at the anode you have spongy lead see here pb by pbso4 it's going to form pbso4 this is anode thing which is negative then you have the i said it is dipped in sulfuric acid sulfuric acid which is 40 percent approximately then after that cathode which is a negative electrode what is it it's having it is having pbo2 by pb this is cathode which is negative in nature that this is only i have written already it is only for maintaining the electric contact now when i have to write the anodic reaction for this observe carefully let's simple anode is oxidation it is loss of electrons how should i write start from here now this this both lead as well as lead dioxide as are going to form lead sulfate remember that now first important thing pb plus 2 combines with your so4 minus 2 okay, pb plus 2 means how many electrons have transferred from here till here this becomes lead sulfate plus 2 electrons lost electrons are lost now these electrons from the anode they go to the cathode so in the cathodic reaction what's going to happen you're left with pbo2 here this pbo2 observe carefully this pbo2 it's going to combine now we are going to separate this h2so4 into 2h plus i'm going to take two moles of it 2h plus means that is 4 4h plus as well as so4 minus just see i'm going to add pbo2 to this now i'm going to add 4h plus plus so4 minus 2 
accepts these two electrons now i said this also forms lead sulfate pbso4 lead sulfate and observe there are four h plus isn't it it comes out as this four h plus and the oxygen here comes out as two water molecule very important part of the whole reaction water you need to represent why this water is going to dilute the sulfuric acid i'll tell you in a few minutes now let us write the overall reaction right see here now this two electron and this two electron gets cancelled done anything else mm, okay let's write so this is pb okay in, I mean, instead of showing pb plus 2 i have written p uh, already sulfate isn't it write this pb solid plus right pbo2 pbo2 now how many h plus here 4 h plus plus one sulfate here one more sulfate here so 2 so 4 minus 2 pbso4 how many are there one pbso4 here one pbso4 here two pbso4 plus two water molecules done isn't it yes this is the overall reaction now you have to be careful now what is the role of water in here basically what happens as and when like as you are using the battery inverter battery for longer time for many years your lead sulfate whatever is formed in the reaction this lead sulfate forms a white paste or white coating on the plates on the grids on the grids now what will happen when it's forming almost the battery comes to like it, we say it is dead the, it will not further conduct so what is the role okay battery we we'll call it as as dead not used now what is the role of water i said there is sulfuric acid here in the reaction isn't it electrolytic solution need now that water is going to dilute the sulfuric acid so when it's diluting like simple isn't it now this is forming a coating and diluting this nothing works so water dilutes sulfuric acid done this is okay now what will happen now how can i use it as a recharged battery just observe see i'm going to erase all this and write <coughs> now when i have to write the recharging process they may ask you both they will ask you write the cell reactions for secondary batteries and they'll ask you how is it recharged how can i adjust? so how is it bit, how should you write you have to write recharging of secondary batteries heading should be recharging of or lead storage battery we'll write that lead storage battery done now see nothing here it can be done by connecting it to current right now when you are not using it it is directly connected to the dc right so it's directly connected to current now what will happen we will let how can i recharge i can recharge it by connecting it to dc current so now what happens where when you're connecting it or when you're charging it the negative electrode now what is the negative electrode this part so the negative electrode is connected of this particular cell is connected to the negative terminal of dc right the positive terminal what do we have here we have uh, here I have written a mistake isn't it so this is positive I'm sorry this is positive hmm. <coughs> now, the positive terminal that is lead dioxide positive electrode is connected to positive or uh, terminal of DC done then what happens during charging the reverse reaction starts happening nothing you have written this reaction isn't it now see the reverse reaction now here it is negative terminal first i'm going to take the negative terminal what is the term negative terminal reaction here start from here pbso4 plus two electrons the reverse direction you start writing pbso4 plus two electrons gives me pb plus so4 minus two this is over see now you are getting this lead isn't it lead is reverted back this is this will settle this will act as anode now that is what we said now positive terminal in the positive terminal what's going to happen reverse direction the pbso4 plus two water molecules just see here reverted back you get pbo2 plus 4h plus plus so4 minus 2 plus 2 electrons 
right <coughs> now so two electrons got cancelled here and here it gets cancelled now observe carefully now where is this pbo2 pbo2 is uh, which acts as a cathode again it is reverted back pb was acting as an anode pbo2 is acting as a cathode during recharging reverse reaction started happening that now let us write the reaction here it is 2 pbso4 two water molecules here pb formed at anode as formed act which acts as anode pbo2 which acts as cathode 4 h plus is here and so4 minus 2 how many so4 1 so4 2 so4 so 2 so4 minus 2 are there let us see <coughs> reverse reaction 2 pbso4 correct 2 h2o correct lead scanode correct pbo2 correct 4 h plus correct and 4 2 so4 minus 2 so this is called recharging of lead storage battery so you have to write this concept write the reverse reactions in the exam if you forget start from the beginning on make a rough column beside start from the beginning and show them the reverse don't start from here please wrong it is the reverse reactions which is happening so basically the voltage is almost 2 volts the voltage which is produced the emf produces 2 volts suppose if i have 6 plates in that then then the voltage produces uh, 12 and if you have <coughs> 12 uh, plates in that 24 volts of current or the emf is produced in the cell so you can write somewhere emf is 2 volts if it is 6 plates 12 volts if it is 12 plates 24 volts. So, this is your late storage battery.